like I gotta rewrite this list. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jimmy, and it's an exciting time for Super Smash Bros. fans because Nintendo at E3 2013 launched the first trailer for the game that's going to be coming to the Wii U and 3DS next year. I've already gotten messages from you guys asking what characters I want to see in the next Super Smash Bros. game, so I figured I'd answer that in a video so I can respond to you all at once. So, today I give you my personal list of my top 5 characters for Smash Bros. 4. Super Smash Bros. is easily a classic franchise that gamers of many generations enjoy. It started from humble beginnings of the Nintendo 64, and has made its way to becoming one of the most beloved gaming franchises of all time. With a new installment on its way, let's take a look at a few characters that I'd personally love to see appear on the next roster. So let's begin. He's lean, he's mean, he's clumsy, he's loud, and most of all, he's Waluigi. Waluigi has appeared in many of the Mario spin-off titles since Mario Tennis on the Nintendo 64. He's usually the comic relief character, especially with Wario, in the sports titles. I'd honestly love to see the wacky antics he'd pull in Super Smash Bros. In Brawl, he was an assist trophy. He'd pop out and attack other players with his tennis racket and stomp them into the ground. I'd love to see this fleshed down to an entire moveset. He could leave bombs everywhere and hit players with various sporting equipment, since those were the games he was primarily featured in. He's one of the less likely characters I see appearing on this list, but it's still something I'd like to see nonetheless. I'm a relatively new Fire Emblem fan. I've just started playing the series with the latest release on 3DS, Fire Emblem Awakening. It's quickly becoming not just one of my favorite games on the system, but one of my favorite games I've played in a very long time. The characters have really grown on me as I played through the game, and the main hero of the story, Krom, is my number 4 pick for the characters I want to see in the next Smash Bros. title. He'd most likely have a similar moveset to characters like Marth and Ike. Krom would of course use his Falchion... Falchion... Out. He'd use his sword and swing it and shit. It's awfully hard to describe what I think his final smash would be without spoiling a major plot point of the game. If you want to skip over this section because it's somewhat spoiler filled, then pause the video right now and click the on screen annotation. It would basically involve Lucina, his daughter from the future, joining him on the battlefield to unleash extremely powerful attacks on all the opponents on the screen. I wouldn't be surprised if Krom makes it into the game, seeing that Fire Emblem Awakening is pretty popular by Fire Emblem standards. I think he would make a neat addition to the roster, and I would definitely use him in a bunch of my battles. Taking the number 3 spot on my list is the acrobatic chimp herself, Dixie Kong. Dixie Kong was originally going to be a playable character in Brawl, but was scrapped during development. She made her debut in Donkey Kong Country 2, as a sidekick for Diddy Kong, and then she took the starring role in Donkey Kong Country 3. She's also set to appear in Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze on the Wii U, which should bring a resurgence of people knowing who she is, this making it a bit more likely that she'll appear in the next Smash Brothers game. Heck, the game could use a little more female fighters in its roster. I picture her using her ponytail as a main form of combat, just like in the games. She could whip people with it, pick things up with it and chuck them, and use it to fly short distances like she does in Donkey Kong Country 2. And her taunt could be a throwback to her idol animation from the older games, where she would sit and drink a juice box or blow bubblegum. Heck, she could even play guitar, because she's just that awesome. He was born a fighter since his days on the NES. Little Mac has faced many tough opponents in his day. Heck, he's already gone head to head with Donkey Kong himself. Like Waluigi, Little Mac was an assist trophy in Brawl. However, I'd like to see him make a full debut in the next Super Smash Bros. game. Seriously, it'd be awesome. He could fight like a boxer in his main attacks, but his final smash would be him becoming Giga Mac, a Hulk style transformation and beating the crap out of all the other players. Little Mac and I are actually quite a lot alike. We're both from the Bronx, so that's pretty cool. Though, I sit inside on the computer and play video games all day and He's a professional boxer, so I guess we're not that much alike after all. Little Mac has been around for many years, and I think it's finally time he makes his star appearance in the next Super Smash Bros. game. Our favorite purple psychic cat clone thing didn't make the cut in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, even though he was intended to be in the game. It was most likely due to the fact that Pokemon Diamond and Pearl were released, and it would be good for Lucario to show up and promote these games. 
seeing that he was a pretty popular character among fans and debuted in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Mewtwo is getting a new form in Pokemon X and Y later this year, and I think it'd be a great way to get to know the character, as well as promote the new games when they come out in October. I'd assume he'd keep his old moveset from Melee, but also get a Zelda Sheik-like form switch that he can utilize whatever new abilities the new form brings him. And recently at E3 2013, Masahiro Sakurai seemed to express some interest in including Mewtwo into the next roster. So as you can probably guess, that makes me very excited. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I'm definitely interested to see what characters you want to see in the next Smash Bros. game. So leave me a comment down below telling me what they are, and maybe you could even go into detail about what moves they can use and stuff like that. Anyway, I guess that's it for this video, and I'll be seeing you guys next time with more videos.